the program is that our students have an ability to work with a faculty member one-on-one -on -one from the time they set foot in our program and to really tailor a program that's going to fit their needs and to engage with faculty who are already doing great research in the field. So within CNI we have a bunch of different cognates so people can choose a focus that you know sort of aligns with their interest or experience. So um, I work with students who do um, focus in like urban education or in literacy or media education, media literacy, technology, but we also have cognates in uh, bilingual education, science education, math education. So people who want to get a sort of general sense of what um, theories behind sort of curriculum and instruction and what research and curriculum instruction look like, um, you can then sort of like bore down deeper into um, specific content area like specialization as well. Research opportunities are amazing in this program because you have an opportunity to bring your ideas and research them, but with the faculty. That's the nice thing that we do. Our faculty have definitely have research agenda, uh, as we each do, but they're not so fixed that we don't say, well, what track do you want to go on? What are you interested in? So a small program allows for that diversity, allows for that flexibility. And so I think we offer an advantage in that sense there, that you have an upper trajectory university that is holding to its roots as well on this idea of the learning community is essential. Baylor is known for having um, really rich and varied partnerships with different schools. In a lot of places, um, especially right now, um, it's really hard to get into schools to do research, to work with teachers. Um, so if that's an area that's of interest to you, the fact that Baylor has um, a number of partner districts and partner schools where there are years of uh, relationship building that have gone on there. So doctoral students get to sort of step into those spaces, get to learn them, get to know them, and then also get to conduct research um, alongside of teachers and students in those schools. We know that it's a big decision to leave their current professions or to come from a master's program and, and commit to another four or five years as a graduate student. So we do our best to really support our students well um, and to help them have the funding that's going to help them to be successful as they move forward in their academic careers. Our scholarships and our graduate assistant positions make Baylor's program highly competitive in comparison to uh, pursuing a graduate degree at a public or a private institution as well. So we provide our students with that amount of support and I'm really proud about that. Usually at a lot of other programs you have to sort of compete or apply for travel funds and Baylor's the only place I've ever seen where the university recognizes that it's really important if you're going to be you know, engaging in these important research conversations that you can go to conferences and that you can be interacting with and, and sharing your work uh, with uh, other leaders in your field. Anytime I have interacted with a professor or um, or another faculty member here at Baylor, it, they are just so welcoming and so loving and they create an environment where it's a great place to share ideas and to learn from each other. This sort of reciprocal mentoring relationship that we have amongst faculty and amongst students I think is a really exciting part of our department and something that people are drawn to. When they come there's a distinctive feel, not only of Baylor, which I think is distinctive in itself, but of our department specifically.